Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make any Spotify song your ringtone. There have been a lot of videos saying you can't do this, but I've found a way to do it. I'll show you proof right now. In my settings you can see my ringtone is a song called On and On. Quite an iconic song. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely up. But yeah, I will show you how to be able to set any song as your ringtone. Make sure you watch all the way to the end so that you don't miss any of the details. The apps that you are going to need is GarageBand, Files, Spotify, Shortcuts, and your settings. Go into Shortcuts and create a new shortcut. You can rename it Audio Converter. I did that just because it's easier to find. Once you do that, click Done and hold on the shortcut and click details once you do that turn on show and share sheet after you do that click receive any click any and cl click clear in the top left corner and turn on media after that click add action and search up encode and click encode media once you do that, click on the circle with the arrow and turn on audio only. Once you do that, go to the search bar on the bottom and search save file. I typed save to file because I forgot the name of the action, but it's save file. Click on it, and once you do that, click on the little circle with the arrow again. And then make sure that ask where to save is on. So that you can find it and that is the audio converter done so now you're gonna have to go to spotify and screen record whatever song you want to set as your ringtone ringtones can only be 30 seconds long so it can be the entire song but the most important part is the part that you want to put in the ringtone now go home and go to files go to icloud drive and click the three dots in the corner and create new folder I renamed it audio clips, but you can rename it whatever you want. This is just to organize your files so that you can have multiple ringtones. Once you do that, go home and go to photos. Go to the screen recording you just made and click share in the bottom left. Scroll down to audio converter and click that. It's going to ask you where to save it so you can go to iCloud Drive and then put it in audio clips. Now, once you've done that, go home and go to GarageBand. Now, once you've done that, click on the plus in the top right corner and go to audio recorder on the options and click on it. Once you've done that, you're going to want to turn off your metronome. It's the little blue triangle in the middle, kind of, right next to the red dot. Now in the top left corner, click the brick looking thing. That's the third option to the right, and it'll become like this. Now you're going to have to click the little plus all the way to the right. Once you clicked on that, click section A and turn off automatic if that's on. Now on manual, turn it all the way up to 30, because that number is the amount of seconds that's going to be on this track. Once you've done that, click on the loop in the top right corner in the middle of those three buttons and click files click browse items from the files app and click browse in the bottom right once you did that click audio clips and click your audio clip right there now it should import it to GarageBand once you do that you can make sure it's the right file yep this is the right file so bring it into GarageBand and you can listen to it, see if you like it, cut out whatever you want. This started a little bit too late, so I changed it to make it start a little bit earlier. But you can do whatever you want with it. Optimize it to your liking. And this sounds pretty good. Once you've done that, Click the upside down triangle in the corner and click my songs. Once you did that, it should save. 
Then you want to hold down on your song until this shows up and click share. Now there should be a ringtone option. Click that. Click continue once this shows up. Rename the song whatever you want. I suggest naming it the name of the song so that you don't get confused if you make multiple ringtones. And click export. It's going to take a little bit, but not too long. Once this shows up, click OK and go back to home and go to settings. Go to sounds and haptics. That's where your option to change the ringtone is. Once you click on that, click ringtone. It should be in one of the top options and your song should be there. As you can see here, it's working perfectly. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, I'd really appreciate a like. Also, subscribe if you can. And share it to any friends that you think might like this. And I'll see you guys next time.